Three years ago in Nottingham City, there was a desperate need. It's one the church stepped in to meet. While there were 650 kids in the care system, there were fewer than half that number of foster homes. For me, my initial response was just a desire to do something. I had the time and some skills and experience to be able to offer. Um, so I think the bigger question for me was, why would I not respond? 23 church families have stepped forward, but the need has grown. Through the pandemic, the number of children needing love and a place to belong is getting near 700. One of the biggest things is there's always gonna be sacrifices with something like this. There, there will be difficult times with these children, potentially, but from what we've already experienced, are oh, the blessing, that the gifts that they are, and the, the benefits are just, they so, so, so outweigh any of the hardships that come with it. As Christians, we know God wants us to show love and change lives. Fostering is very much in line with the heart of God, and it gives us an opportunity in life and in deed, to say to people, come and see, come and see what it's like, come and see what the love of God really means. Are you sure that God is not calling you to foster? What can you offer? Hi, I'm Rob. My wife Joy and I live in Bestwood in Nottingham. Um, we've recently been uh, approved as foster carers. We certainly don't view ourselves as perfect parents at all, but what we do have is a safe home um, for our three children that we already have, and uh, we feel challenged to open this up to children who don't have that. Come to the online fostering information evening on Wednesday the 9th of June. Come and get your questions answered, come and find out more about fostering, and even take your first steps on the approval process to become a foster carer.